Hello people, my name is Rage and welcome to an all next episode of Quick Bell Challenge Extreme Where everything really is extreme Such as this guy's extremely out of date skin Because I think he's extremely confused as to where he actually is And I don't actually know if he's all there in the mind So I'm actually extremely worried about his sanity But, you know, that is that aside, I'm extremely excited to get on with today's build because I believe Ang can save the world. No, this is going to be a wondrous quick build, yes indeed. So, shoot the topic. <laughs> I don't know why that required evil laughing. There's, there's, there isn't a topic that just is like evil when it when it gets revealed. So you know, ocean. Ocean is your topic, a nice topic, a lot you can do with that, some suave things you can do. The winner of last week was actually a four-way tie. Now, I'll admit it wasn't specifically a four-way tie, as in all four people got the same level of votes, but they were all within less than ten of each other, all four, and that has never happened before. So I've gotta I've gotta take this opportunity to officially declare Quick Build's first ever four-way tie. And I think that's a great way to start off the new year. I know, right? Three two one go I can't help notice that he's already like filled his arena with um with water. I I mean he took his opportunity, he saw his opportunity to get ahead. And he took it. Credit to him. Okay. He he did it. He wasn't very subtle about it. He tried. And I can respect that. I'm also going to dock him 50 votes. Because boom. <laughs> oh yeah, the timer. She should probably, probably like time them and stuff. It's like a central part of, of the show. Probably should, should require that. So guys, place your bets. How many Krakens are we going to see? All of them? I imagine so. Oh god, their water's touching. Ooh, oh, ew. They're touching water. That is so- They're gonna get cooties. Uh, fun times, guys. Fun. Fun times. Uh, you all had some wonderful uh, things to say in uh, the comments of last time. I know I don't normally talk about the comments too much in Quick Build because I'm way too busy making fun of the contestants. But because it was the New Year's special one and there was a lot of memories and a lot of questions, I just want to say it really was heartwarming to read them all. It really made me happy and I just, I just want to thank you all for... You know, everything you said, being with the series, being part of the channel, sticking with me through all this time. People who have joined recently, people who have been here since the beginning. You're all wonderful and it really, it really is a joy to be doing this. So give yourselves a cookie and a pat on the back or a slap to the face, whichever you're most fond of. It really is entirely up to you. I also have a story for you today of the awkward variety, yes! Haha! <laughs> Why not kick everything off with a good-fashioned awkward? Seriously though, what is with this guy's skin? Like, does he not realize? Maybe he's just very early and prepared for next year, I suppose. But in uh, vote one, we have TJ1029, who is the tier 4 tier 4 that ever did tier 4, who's built an ocean with some land. And then in over in vote two, we have oh, 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 Robin. That's, I'm pretty sure that's, that's the name. Who has built an ocean with some land? Not even gonna comment. And then we have Jacko5459. What is with this? How does this even come about? This amount of numbers in every mic. I mean, his face kind of says it all, doesn't it? I uh, like... I like numbers. <laughs> I've got a pig on my pig on my jumper. Do you, you have a pig on your jumper? You don't have a pig on your jumper. <laughs> Who is building actually something original? And then finally, over in vote four, we have Coaster09 again with the tier four. Who is building an ocean with some land? Although admittedly, his land is more a sort of drop sinkhole cavern in the sea, which I think is actually a really neat idea. So I'm looking forward to this and this. These two, they've got to impress me. They've got their work cut out for them, if I do declare. So, you're probably itching at the bud 
Is that an expression? Can you itch at the bud? That to me just sounds like someone who walks around and tries to tickle plants. And I don't know if you're aware, but walking around and trying to tickle plants really isn't kind of ideal. You look like a bit of a weirdo. And, you know, I'm not going to judge if that's what you're into. You could be a nana 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 plant man. But I just don't think you should announce it to the world that you're going to pollinate some pollen. Just don't don't be that person, okay? It just, just really, don't Venus the flytrap is all I'm saying. So, story time. Though I do like we do have sharks. I do like we do. My English has kind of been failing today, and I mean that more than normal, it it really has just a lot of times, but I think that's okay, because really, what else do you expect, the professional 2015? It's so not happening, is it? It just really isn't. Ugh. So the other day, I was awoken to a knock on my door, a buzzer of the buzz, and I was in bed at this time, kind of half asleep, and I was my reaction to this knock on the door was mostly, because uh, <laughs> I didn't want to get up. So Danny got up, and she went and answered the door, and it was the electrician who was like, yeah, I'm an electrician. I'm a here to spark your vaults. I don't know why A, he was Jamaican, or B, he was saying that. In fact, that may be complete exaggeration on the story. Either way... He arrived. No, it wasn't. He arrived, and he checked things, and all was good. In fact, no, it was the boiler guy. It was the boiler guy. He checked the boiler, because we recently had the boiler break, which was so cold of it. I just... The boiler really got cold. It insulted me, and it was stone cold. (laughs) Ah, that probably wasn't funny at all, and I should be ashamed of myself. Either way, he checked the boiler. All was well with the world. He went away. Now... I kind of dozed back off at this point, and obviously wasn't expecting even more visitors, intruders, onto my domain later on. But indeed, we did get some. A pair of electricians, I may have spoiled that earlier, I am sorry, did arrive to make sure that everything was in order to do the routine check of all the plug sockets in the block of flats that I am in, etc, etc, routine stuff. But I did not expect people to be arriving twice in one day. I did not fathom that was a possibility. So I am there, lying in bed, and, you know, I I wear the usual amount while sleeping, simply sleeping shorts, which are clearly the best sleeping things. I mean, I can understand if you're a full pyjama person. I, too, used to be a full pyjama person, but I think I've evolved much like a Pokemon to not full pyjamas, though some days I do yearn for a bit of full pyjama action. Facts, do any of you do any of you still rock the full pyjama action while sleeping? Neck to feet, full pyjamaing. Cause I can respect that. I really, really can. Either way, twas nothing on my top half. This is gonna be important. So the electricians walk around the place, and of course, if they're checking every plug socket, they gotta check the plug sockets in the bedroom. So I hear the door open. I'm like asleep under the covers, thinking of a great plan here. So I hear the door open and someone walks into the room, and I obviously assume it's Danny, because who else would it be? She's the only other person in the in the place, and the visitor's already been and gone. It has to be. I've not been paying attention to the goings-on. So as this person is walking round the bed to get to the plug socket to have a look, I think of a great plan. I'm going to suddenly pop up and be like, ha-ha, surprise, and then she'll jump, and I'll be like, ha-ha, and then I'll go back to sleep. But obviously, you can imagine where this went. So I wait, time my moment, and then suddenly throw back the covers, li- like sit up with lightning speed, and go, surprise! Um! Make that noise as we're now in an awkward eye locking stare down of he's just gone, did some half naked dude just spring out the bed and yell surprise at me? And I'm just thinking, why is there an electrician in my bedroom? I don't remember ordering the electrician today. And we're both having these thoughts, various other thoughts, I imagine, passing through our heads. And my my best response to the situation to get out of it, this scot-free, embarrassment-free, you would say, is to just simply, slowly, sit back down, just lie back down very slowly, and then ever so methodically, just pull the covers above my head, shut my eyes, and pretend they all just didn't happen. Not saying 
a word. And eventually, he kind of just left the room. And that was all good. And that was my encounter with the plumber, the, the boiler man electrician day. So, there you go, everyone. That happened a few days ago. That's uh, my first awkward moment of the year. So, that's uh, wonderful. In my defense, I don't think that one was entirely my fault. I, I think I got... I think I got tricked or some sort. That's the only way I can really see it happening. Why why do we have why is I feel like Mr Mr. O Robin. I did wonder why nothing was happening with this build the entire time. Do we think they're gonna rejoin at any point? Do we think do we think Robin's gonna join the and just is that it? Have we have we lost vote one? Is this just, they were just like, ah, this is a job well done. I've done an island, I've done a tree, I've got three shacks. Really, what more do I need? You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pop off. That's absolutely fine. What is with people who do this? It's just, why? It, it affects me on so many levels. 15 levels, okay, from despair to fury. Ah, <sighs> okay, so... Mr. Santa, out of season over here, has built a lovely little beach area with beach huts going in. Not much in the beach huts, but then again, they are beach huts, so really what are we expecting from this? And, you know, the variety of doors I can respect. And we have the world's squarest boat over here. Now, you got to remember, guys, that we are back to people not being able to know the topic in advance. So the overall quality of builds will go down in favour of more hilarity variety, which I personally very much like. I just, I'm going to build a pillar of, uh, ha and then we're going to make it hang down. Oh, it's M for madness. I don't know why it's M for madness, but it is. And then over in vote three, we have what looks to be, oh, I know what he's going to do. He's building his own mini underwater temple, and he's going to fill it up and have like a slice of an ocean biome, which to his credit is a really neat idea. And then over here, I am loving this as well. I think this is very ingenious. We've got an ocean. Yeah, it's ocean. Whatevs. But then we have this sinkhole that's opened up that a ship has run aground in and just completely ripped apart and collapsed into. It's even done a little bit of detail in the ship. And I think that is a wondrous idea. I can see that happen. I'm getting kind of a Pirates of the Caribbean vibe from it. So I think these two have had a stroke of inspiration. This person just had a stroke and this person is stroking. I don't really know what, what he's stroke. We're not going to go there, actually. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, when he watches his back, he's gonna go, I'll have you know, I was. <laughs> that would be, again, very fundamentally, fundamentally weird. I, I can see that I have a message, and 90% it's from, it's from Mr. Robin, Mrs. Robin, if that is your real gender, saying, I can't get back on. Because when they checked, the whitelist was still on. But now it's off, and they're probably just not checking. And I'm just going to leave them. I'm not even going to go tell them. I, I, I just, I like it too much. I'm going to take over this build now, actually. That's what I'm going to do. It's me. It's my build now. Let's, uh, let's make sure that the island is really quite, you know, we got to, we got to really go for it, I think. We're going to make it quite the desolate place. The desertless place. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm talking about at any point, actually, but that's okay. You gotsta, 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 forgive me! You gotsta. So, this is now Death Island, and then what I'm gonna do is I am going to give these sharks fin eyes. In fact, we'll give them, we'll give them wooden fin eyes. That's the best. <laughs> and then, and then, right, I'm gonna give them, like, a... Oh, can I give it like a mouth thing? Oh, why can't I place it? Alright, can I place it one higher? There it is. Ha ha! And then, I don't really know what this is or why it looks like it does. But you gotta realise that... In fact, no, if we place a... Bu Whoa, that's wrong. Okay, no, I want a block. I want a block. Guys, this is gonna be, this is gonna be the best thing you've ever seen. If we do that there, and then delete it. And then look, it's like a... It's like a pincer mouth shark mobile. No, 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 I'ma kill you. And that's, that's how he goes. Time is up, however, so stop. Let's evaluate our contestants. He unfortunately did not get to fill. You may 
fill the water. I will allow that, because that is very centric to your build, uh, Mr. Jacko. I, I love how Blockster there was just straight, Coaster even, was just straight up in his build. So, over in vote one, we have TJ1, who was... Oh, he went... Ah, okay. His last-minute alteration has made this a lot better. We have a pirate ship blowing up this portside town. A vast... The destruction is real. And that actually does make it a lot better. The detailing, not really there. But the idea, now a lot more competent than... There's an island and there's a ship and an ocean. Ha <laughs> ha! And their oceans are, of course, still touching. We got vote one. Over vote two, we got... Nana, 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 something shark. And then Death Island and... And just basically, it's been deserted by the builder. Uh -huh. And then over in vote three, we have a rendition of an ocean monument that can be found. That's not actually full of water on the inside, but you get the idea. And I can respect that. And then finally over here, we have a sinkhole that a ship has run aground into, snapped asunder, and fallen down into its watery grave. Bits of everything going everywhere. The only thing I would say is maybe... Oh, he's even added some sand, though, to give it a little bit more flavor. That I really like. Maybe some treasure from the ship. There's, like, some loot down here. But generally speaking, that is a lovely idea, and that is vote four. So vote one. Pirates, vote 2, Deserted Island, vote 3, Ocean Monument, vote 4, Sinkhole Wreckage. My name has been Rage. Remember to like if you enjoyed this. It really does help support the series, and I do appreciate it. Subscribe for more. If you want to be a part of this show, simply follow me on Facebook or Twitter, and I will call upon you. But for now, my name has been Rage. A good boy. You've been watching.